So let's start off with some updates to our devices. So firstly, we have the attribute evaluator, which now, as you can see here, it's completely red if it's disabled. And in game, it's gonna be your regular blue with the little Wi-Fi symbol if this is enabled. Power up device. So we have this new option, which you can toggle effects here. So you can have none, only glow, or all if you want to turn off effects, you can now do that. Another cool thing is we have this persist on elimination option. So this means that as long as you still have time remaining, even if you get eliminated, your power up is still gonna be active. For the mutator zone, this one is interesting. All the way down here in this advanced section, we have this allow emote wheel option, which if this is disabled, you won't be able to bring out your emote wheel. So you can see here in my mutator zone, I am pressing uh, my emote button. I promise you guys I'm pressing it. Go out of the range here. You can see now I can emote again, but then if I go in here, suddenly I can't emote. So next up is this collectible gallery thing, which now what you can do is set a custom color. And what that does is just change is the glow of the color so you can change it to red blue whatever color you want here they've also added the ability to play a custom niagara effect when you actually collect this collectible thing so next up this propomatic so this one's interesting you can now change the animation duration so how long it takes for you to transition from being a player to disguising yourself as a prop so here it is with 10 seconds if i try to convert into peely i on Bird into Peely at a very slow pace and I'm shrinking. So another cool thing, and this is a really cool change, you can now filter out who can enter or be blocked by this barrier. So if you go into the barrier device here, and this is all in Creative 1.0, by the way, as well. You can go down here, down here, there's this, well, there's two things. One, there's this ignore team. So you can ignore a whole team of players and you can ignore a whole class of players. Do so you can do that? And that's going to allow them to walk through the barrier. What you can also do for even more control is add a player to an ignore list. So I have this button, which is going to add me to the ignore list. And then what you can do after is you can remove that player from the ignore list and now they're going to be blocked from entering the barrier again all right so here i am you can see this is the regular nothing has changed i haven't changed any settings i go into here to get ignored and now i can just phase through this barrier and this other button is going to reset that player list so i'm going to unignore myself and now you can see i am completely blocked by this thing now by the way if you try and do this while inside of the barrier this is going to happen you're gonna get stuck well last time i had died but it won't be fun yeah okay so you sometimes you just get eliminated something get pushed out of the barrier and then the same applies with this beacon device so you can add players to the show list which is going to make the beacon only show for that specific player awesome all right next we have the new devices first up is the fortnite item shop device this one's straightforward you open up the item shop but so if you press here you're gonna see you're gonna open up the store but what's also cool is you can access your locker directly from here so you can change your skin three two seconds you can see i've changed my skin in a game and as far as functions go there's nothing interesting here it's just enable and disable you know your traditional stuff and next up we have this new grind reel which you can find down here next to the uh, old grind reel device so similar to that one it will make you grind on this thing except it just has the new jungle vine textures next up we have these new plants or not new but new and creative as for what you can actually do with these you can grow you can explode remotely so that's cool you can also change the growth delay so you have these grow automatically you can change the initial delay to zero so it's going to instantly spawn we can also change the regrowth delay so you can make it 300 seconds or five minutes if you really want that zero which i guess it's infinite so by the way there's this funny thing you can do with this thing if you set it to zero delay you can spam as many as you want like he's an oh my god okay if so be careful setting it to zero because apparently you can make an infinite chain reaction so and i've crashed my game of course <laughs> All right, so next up, we have these camera rig things, camera braille things. I'm not really too sure what you can do with them, but basically to make one of these, you're going to create a new blueprint class and then search up for camera. And you're going to see here we have two new options, the crane, which is this big one right here, and then the rail, which is this smaller rail thingy right here. So what I believe you could do is I made a new sequence here. I'm going to add this to the sequence like this, a new blueprint. What I can do here is, is for this camera actor here that I have is I can add, I can attach it to our new blueprint, which is this rig thing here. Now, what that allows me to do is I can rotate this and I can freely do this. I don't know if that's the intended purpose. Okay, you can control the length of the thing. You can control the pitch. You can control the yaw of this. So the rotation, basically, you can move this around and you can see my camera sort of moves around 
along with it and then you can lengthen it so super wide and long and then retract it and then obviously you can change the this which you're gonna make your camera spin around as far as other changes goes we have new jungle props where you search up jungle we now have these jungle props you can drag out these statues i guess or this ancient thing so if you want to make a booby trapped map with these jungle assets you now do that additionally if you go into landscaping mode you now have access to the landscaping jungle materials we type in landscape you can see here we have the new chapter four jungle so really quick if you want to do that but we have new version so let me start up simple with uh some exciting stuff so firstly we have some obviously the new stuff for the barrier and the beacon device you can do that now and we also have the move to api for creative device now don't mistake this for your regular creative devices this is just for as far as i can tell just for your computer thing this thing right here so i'm going to show you guys that in a second but we also have the teleport too so you can now teleport these devices here to so the billboard the barriers so that's cool you don't have to manually attach them to a prop like you would if you just want to teleport them there unfortunately you still cannot use the move to with the with these devices so annoying but at least we can now teleport these devices wherever we want so really this move to function is only for this computer thing okay so when i press this button you can see this computer moves to me for some reason i'm not sure and as you can see here the barrier i've set it so that it teleports to my location so now we can teleport the barrier which i've gotten from all the way over there and teleported all the way over here and then lastly they've added global variables quote unquote so you can see here i've defined a variable outside of my class okay so firstly i'm just going to try this with a int you can see i'm not allowed to do this i need to define this inside of my class however if you want to make a global variable we can use a new thing called the weak map and this weak map is basically the same as the regular map which in the sense that you have key and then a value pair the only difference is you cannot iterate through this map and you cannot get the length of the map but you can see this allows us to create a global variable outside of our creative device and the way we do this is we create a weak map and then we pass in as parameters the key and then the value our key is this new session class and this new session is simply just our fortnite session and then we have an integer and that's going to be great a new map you can see here that because it's a map it's a failable expression to access the element which i'm going to call x inside of the map now to actually get a session you just pass in get session which is going to retrieve the current session that we are currently in and then that's going to retrieve the integer so you can see here that if there is no current integer corresponding to our session then we're just going to set the new integer to 900 but what's really cool is that in this other new device here this has no affiliation this has no reference to this other device here you can see nowhere have i defined that but i can still access the global variable right here and i can do global get session and that's just going to print out our new global variable so that's how you want you would use new global variables without having to reference you know these devices between each other and just yeah, that's pretty much it for uefn as always i hope this was helpful and yeah